The High Court in Johannesburg has seen some of the last moments of Tehofa Zopule's life. The man accused of masterminding her murder, Ndudu Koshoba, applied to have this CCTV footage submitted to court. It shows him walking her out of his complex on the night of her murder, June 4, 2020. The defense alleges she had called for an Uber. There is a dispute about whether she knew the driver, Muzikayise Malipane. Malipane has been convicted of her murder and says Shoba is the one who asked him to fetch Bule. The state said he spent three minutes outside. Shoba denies this, but three minutes are missing from the footage submitted to court. Shoba's lawyers explain the reasons for submitting the CCTV footage. The crux of uh, the matter is that uh, it would appear that uh, based on the stills that they reflect uh, 2206 and thereafter they show 2209, there was a perception and or a possible inclination that uh, between 2006 and 2009 there must have been an activity of sorts involving a, a, a conduct by the accused, whether uh, consistent with guilt or innocent, it's not uh, the point we're making. But uh, what is of significance here that uh, we wish the court to uh, take note of is that as soon as the deceased walked to the vehicle and uh, the accused turned around, uh, it is then that you start having these problems of the time. Meanwhile, Bule's family are in shock. They say these visuals have sparked emotions. Uh, I think it's the issue that we've tried to avoid it all along in court. It was okay when the screen shots from the video footage were submitted in court. But having to see live footage of Tsekhofa, so having to be escorted to the car by the very same man who claimed that he loved him and knew him very well that might be the last time he saw Tsirofato. It sparks emotions. For me, when I was watching that video, and more specifically so because of the application was coming from the defense on the instruction of the client who happens to be Mr. Shoba, it still confirms the fact that Mr. Shoba had no regard and still has no regard for our family. Judgment in the murder trial will be handed down on March 25 at the High Court in Johannesburg.